So there is not one single decent guy left in this entire town. I know because I've looked everywhere, including being Good afternoon, the ladies. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm head of the welcoming committee here at uh, Ted's Bar, and we just wanted to be sure that you all were having a good time. So is there anything that I can get you? <clears throat> oh, um, well, I honestly didn't know that Ted's had a welcoming committee. We do. And in fact, we have a rowing team, archery, and knitting bag. I really need to learn how to knit. Oh yeah, she's knitting. been dying to learn how to knit. It was a new <laughs> knit to knit. Yeah, knit. it was a New Year's resolution. It, it was Wait, two on. years in a row, actually. Okay, um, <clears throat> it's a really diverse group you've got here. You know, we like to think so. Yeah. Well, I think we're all set right now, though. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Now that's what we love to hear. Oh, there's just <clears throat> one last little thing. It's a little survey that we ask everybody to fill out. You know, it's oh. nothing major, just really basic. If you if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have a pen? Oh, sure. Thank you. Well, I will be happy to <clears throat> fill this out right now. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. Now let's see. Is that is that pronounced inyard? <laughs> Is that, is that Swedish? It's actually, it's Dutch. Dutch. Oh, very close. Very, very close. Yes. Oh, and 911. That is a European area, right? <laughs> yes, it is. That's awesome. Okay, good. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Well, I'm Monica. Monica, it's nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Hi. Um, I'm, I'm Blanca. It's not in your? Oh, no, not when I'm overseas. Oh. Here oh. in the States, I go by Blanca. Oh, okay. yeah. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. <laughs> Focus on all your flaws. Look in the mirror and dare to say, I am beautiful. I am young. I am vibrant. I am confident. I am. Hello? Beatrice? Blanca? Hey, hey. It's been a long time, huh? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm sorry about everything that happened. I am too. I'm sorry. I got sick last year. I, it's a... Uh... It's pretty bad. It's, it's bad. It's, uh, the doctors found cancer and they can't do anything about it. <laughs> Where's Mac? Is he, is he taking care of you? Mac tries. He really, really tries. He's, he's out getting my medicine right now.
Mac. Next time, man. Real cash. It's a lot of fucking hope, sir. Hey, man. I can't sell all of them. I've got to keep this some. This is good shit. People want this. I've got to keep some. Look, man. I'll give you a hundred. That's dub. You look like shit. Now go get your drink on before you fucking fall apart. Whoa! You got the real cash this time? All right. Go. Blanca, don't you see? He's cut you off from your family and your friends. He's cut you off from people who love you. I, I know, but I love him so much. I really do. Damn, babe. You scared me. I tried to call you. Yeah, I'm sorry, my phone died. You missed my doctor's appointment. Oh, shit. Is that today? I'm sorry. Everything's okay, right? It's spread. I'm stage four. Who brought you home? Do you really think that's relevant right now? Matt brought me home. Are you fucking him? You're drunk and you're fucking paranoid. I can't talk to you when you're like this. Calm down, Blanca. You know what sucked the most? Was not having you there. I gave up my friends and my oh, family and everything I know because you promised me, Mac. So you fucking I go out me. For after work for a you, drink and this is what- You promised me, Stop Mac! Stop yelling at me! I can't believe it's spread like that. I don't know what to do, babe. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It just doesn't matter. It does not matter how much I love you, or I plead with you, or I beg you. You don't love you. And I don't know how to fix that. You know, <laughs> they gave me less than six months to live. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna be dead before me. Not a drunk, Blanca. My father was a drunk. I know what that looks like. I go to work. I have a job. You have had three jobs in the past six months. Why do you always bring this shit up? Because we haven't dealt with it. What the fuck do you want from me? Just you. Just you. Why can't you understand that? Why can't you understand that I need you? And when you get drunk and you get high like this, it's like you leave me in this place to fend for myself when we promised, Mac. We promised each other we were always gonna be there for each other. I am there for you. Look, if you want me to quit drinking, I will. Okay? It's not as difficult as you think, Blanca. I can quit any time. Okay? Really?
Blanca, I know you love him, but he is sick. Where is he now, Blanca? Is he still drinking? You know, it's so funny. There's a part of me that feels like it all should have happened like this. Is that like it was supposed to happen this way? Blanca, give me your address. I'll come over there right now. Will you promise me something? Will you promise me? Promise me you'll take care of him. I, I promise. Just tell me where you are. I love you too, Blanca. Just... Tell me where you are so I can help you. I just feel like he's gonna be okay, you know? I just really want him to be okay. <laughs> He's a really good person, Beatrice. Don't say that. Blanca? Blanca! Where's that girl? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Hey, babe. Sorry I'm late. It's pouring outside, and the pharmacy messed up your medications. I think it's some Twizzlers and aspirin. <laughs> She's gone. She was my best friend. I'm sorry, Beatrice. Aren't you sorry? I loved her. I did too. I was on the phone with her when she died. She said you're still sick. I can tell you're still sick. And she said that I should help you. 
I don't know if Blanca told you, but I always keep my promises. I'm in love with you too.